Welcome back. So this is how we left the car at the end of the last video. Today we're covering spec maps. Uh, that's right. Give it, leave the like and the subscribe. Uh, so for spec maps, if you've split all the layers as we did in the last video, spec maps isn't too difficult. First thing we're going to do is duplicate uh, all the layers that we made last time. So those red, green, blue layers from video one. Uh, duplicate them and then drag them up into the green area right at the top because that's where the custom spec maps is so iRacing is going to use this part of the file uh, to apply those layers over the base paint so we're still duplicating them uh, after you finish moving all of them into the red channel you're gonna have to populate them all again into the green channel uh, so the red channel is what's gonna make the car nice and shiny uh, or turn turn the white into a chrome and then the roughness is what we use to turn the blacks into those matte blacks so we were right to go ahead and turn off all the painted area below uh, if you leave those on that will confuse the spec map so you'll see that the blue area and the red area right at the bottom have been turned off uh, we also have to turn off the blue channel and the alpha channel uh, those aren't required they can be deleted but we'll just turn them off for this example uh, so now that you've got all the layers in the appropriate areas, everything in the red channel needs to be 100% red. So we're going to fill this layer similar to we did in video 1. 100% red. So all three layers, so the red layer, the green layer, and the blue layer, all have to be red in this channel. So select all again, then edit, fill, fill selected outline, and there it is, red again. We get a rip. We don't have to repeat the blue actually because it's already red and I'm pretty sure it was 100% red. We were all sneaky in the first video and that's why we chose red. So now for the green layer, same again, except this time we're going to have to choose the color as 100% green. Uh, so we've got 100% green there already, so make sure it's 100. Uh, that is what iRacing is using to apply the roughness. And again, this layer, all to green. And so once you've done this, you can come back to any of these layers and apply them and then re-export. And you can see uh, how that's affected your livery. But for the moment, we're going to activate the G3 stripes and the base. So turn the red channel on, turn the green channel on, GT stripes on, base on. So now we just choose the opacity and that sort of, or that applies the roughness to the car. So just experiment with that all the way from about 20 through to 100 will change how shiny and how matte the paints are. Uh, and there we go. So we're ready to export that. That should be a basic Chrome versus matte. So in the export, we're gonna export to, to car underscore spec underscore your number. And that applies to the iRacing thing almost immediately. So we'll swap over to iRacing and there you go. So you've got a chrome car now, your white car is now chrome, your black stripes are now matte black stripes. And we can turn that into a metallic 
just by adding some roughness to that chrome layer. So you just go in and turn the base, like the green base, change the opacity a level, somewhere there shall do. Re-export, and Bob's your uncle. There you have it, a metallic and matte black Mazda. So just keep playing with the opacity until you have the exact metallic or chrome that you desire, and exactly the same with the mats as well. Cheers, fellas. See you next.